Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, should the Vault Ages Hollywood Show now here, about to give you a Samsung Galaxy Note 8 review, and I'm using a PowerSoft to actually pair my Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and screen record it. That way you guys can see my iOS recording the actual stuff. So, about the actual Galaxy Note 8, as you guys know, it is the newest flagship device. It has a 6.inch 3 screen, and it even has an S Pen which you can pull out, obviously, and do all kinds of cool stuff. Like, for example, you can create notes, view notes, one of my favorite smart select, ScreenWrite. Like, you can follow me on YouTube, you can even write on the apps, and you can even say it would design it. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's a new feature, if the Note 7 had that, but it's pretty cool. Also, other options like the whole making a GIF is amazing. I first seen it on the Tab S3 and I'm very impressed by it. All right, so one other thing that I want to show you guys besides the screen right if you go into the home screen settings, for the first time to my knowledge with the Note 8, you can actually change your home screen grid from a 5x6, which is really long, to a 5x5, which moves apps in, a 4x6, or the traditional 4x5, which is what the S7 had, I believe. So 5x6 obviously is really cool because it makes stuff go all the better. And as far as multitasking goes, they do have a new edge panel and you can actually put two apps in at once and play both apps at the same time. So here, we're gonna open up WWE Champions and Injustice Gods Among Us and you can see both of them playing at the same time. Now you can also mirror this, you can even stretch them out. So like you can have one dominating the other. But yeah, it's kind of cool that it does that. And you can even, uh, cancel out the apps like that so really cool feature of the note 8 also with the s pen one of my favorite features with the s pen is the ever popular in my opinion smart select because what the smart select does is you can actually make gifts based on a certain part of the screen so if you want to show off like say your favorite kill in uh, call of duty if you want to show off a cool moment now you can GIF it. It's only going to do it, I believe, in 480 or 720p. But the fact that it can do that is just absolutely amazing. And also new to the Note 8 is a feature called being able to use two apps at the same time. So if we hold in Facebook, um, you can remove the shortcut. But let's take an app like... Uh, let's take an app like Snapchat. So what you can do here is you can install a second app. So it basically installed a second icon of Snapchat. And as you can see right here, there is a second thing for Snapchat. This is mostly important if you're running two accounts. Like for example, if you're a cam girl, for example, you can have a Snapchat for your friends and you can have a personal Snapchat where you can sell offers that. Same thing with Kick. Same thing you could even use it with Facebook Messenger, any social platform. It's basically meant for messengers to where you can go that. But one thing I really like is this app called Game Tuner. For example, it even shows you like your average temperature, how long you've played Clash Royale, your average frame rate. And for example, Injustice 2 on the Note 8, which is probably one that a lot of my viewers are really curious about, you can actually see what the frame rate is on the game. So you can see the average frame rate, 34 FPS. So. Injustice 2 is able to maintain a sta stable roughly 30 FPS, which is basically the bare minimal for making a game playable. It even tells you the average temperature, and we played it for about two hours. So let's take Clash Royale, for example, and you can see average temperature 95 degrees and average frame rate 56 FPS. Now, wouldn't you like to see a game able to actually maintain near 60 FPS when you're playing it? But yes, with the various game settings, as you can see, display best screen quality while playing games 100% at 60 FPS. So I would imagine that you can also enhance game speed by reducing resolution. It even has maximum power saving, smart, adjust display quality depending on battery level. Set game mode for each game separately. So let's take a look at Injustice 2. And resolution ratio, we can put it at 100%. So please adjust the settings to find it to work. You can have texture quality. Um, In-game controller. 
and flip over screen off. Turn off screen by flipping over. Game is kept running the sound off. So you can even change the resolution for the games. And this is really important because if a game is running slow, like let's take the resolution down. Let's do 35%. So now let's fire up Injustice 2. All right, so we're going to do a quick fight in the arena. And you guys can kind of see how the gameplay goes. There is one little thing that I did want to point out within this review as well. So you can see that I am connected to an MHL adapter on my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Let's disconnect it and try to connect it in. This is going to be hard to do one-handed. But if you look really closely, you can see it's charging and there is the HDMI connected right there. So unlike the Tab S3, which has zero support for MHL connectors... Rest assured, the Note 8 does bring this functionality back, and I'm really excited for that. Don't forget like this video showing off the brand new Samsung Galaxy Note 8, which is a beast of a Samsung device. Please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe. Share this video amongst your friends and as a favorite. Check out my other Hollywood shown on real life videos, Injustice 2 videos playlist, Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood shown on. And are you guys looking forward to actually getting your own Note 8? What features are you most looking forward to? Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com slash Hollywood Show Now. Subscribe, bitches!